What's up, YouTube? Still out here at the spot putting in work. It's about 6.30 right now. I'm getting ready to close up shop. Um, I just did my inventory. I sold about 90 shirts today. So I want to sell about 10 more so I can hit that $1,000 mark. Let me see if I can hit that. All right, YouTube. So I just finished up here. Uh, it's about 8.30 right now. I uh, hit my $1,000 mark and uh, 1000 bucks for one day's work. Not bad. Welcome back to King Print. Now, before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, in that clip there, I was referring to a side hustle that I have. I also posted a video of it, make 12,000 in 16 days. So be sure and check that out if you want more information on that. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually picking up a check for an order. I'm about to make these guys. And I wanted to make this video here to show you all these shirts that I've made uh, for these guys throughout a few years. This is one thing not to overlook that a lot of people do is your mom and pop shops in your area, you know, offer your services. This is a pretty good account for me for the year. It's been ongoing for, you know, a few years now. Uh, so don't forget if you're looking for different ways to drum up new business, don't forget your mom and pop shops. What I found a lot of times is that they are looking for merchandise for their business, but they just don't know where to go or they just don't have the time to be going out because they're running their own business. You coming to them saves them a lot of time. It also shows, you know, your face to face time, if you will, and not just, you know, uh, a cold call or or just some random person online. But I just wanted to share that with you. OK, so this video here is actually on my new hustle, a side hustle that I'm doing. Um, and I just started doing this earlier this year and you can see here I'm setting up what it is It's a, a photo booth now these photo booths are pretty lucrative You can make a few hundred bucks a, a night just depending on how many hours you book for now here I booked for three hours and net I made uh, three hundred dollars uh, and only working three hours now they actually wanted me to go an extra hour uh, work was going to pay me another hundred bucks, but I just couldn't stay. I had a, another obligation I had to get to, so I couldn't. But if I wanted to, I could have made another hundred, you know, this day right here. Um, and it happens like that. Like I said, I just started doing this. This is kind of the business that, that I'm looking for. Something where I don't have to devote a lot of time to that you can still make some good money. Now here I'm only working three hours a week, one day a week, and that nets me. 1200 a month so that's going to be 12 hours a month working making 1200 a month and that's not bad at all that doesn't take me away from any of the other businesses i'm running that doesn't take me away from anything else i'm doing it doesn't put much of a strain on me all it's doing is just padding my income for the year so if you add that up you're going to be making 1200 a month for 12 months that's 14,400. so 14,000, not bad only working a, a few hours a week so definitely I'm looking for stuff like this to do. So I just wanted to throw that out there, give you guys some ideas what you can do, uh, you know, different things that, that are out there to do to make extra money. And if I wanted to, I could actually devote more time and, you know, and make this business bigger. But I just don't really have too much time to do it. So this is just perfect for me. You know, I just throw a few ads out there, getting one job a week. I'm good with that. You know, I'm really not looking for more. Uh, if I do a few jobs a week, fine. But really, I mean, this is really a weekend thing because, you know, you set up at parties, uh, stuff like that. And the photo booth, actually, I made it. I was actually looking for one online and they're pretty expensive. And that's without the camera and uh, the whole setup and everything. It's just for the, the box that you throw the camera in. You still need to get the lights and the backdrop and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't really want to spend. So I actually made that photo booth that you're looking at there. If you want more information on this, definitely leave me a comment. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the link in my description for sales right now on screen print supplies from Amazon and check you on the next one.